Greetings, this is Charles McCall with Mentoring Growing Leaders. And this is lesson number eight in a short series that we're doing on strategic planning. And so I uh, want to encourage you, this is, this is a summary. This could be 50 lessons. This could be 50 weeks if we wanted to go down deep, but we're not able to do that. So I'm just throwing out some seeds, some key foundational issues that you need to consider and you need to put into practice. And again, many churches or businesses, organizations, schools and government entities, they need somebody like me that can guide them through this, that can arrange the meetings, ask the right questions, guide them through the discussion, and then help them to make the plan and then hold them accountable to it. So that's what a, a consultant does. And that's the kind of thing that I can do and I can assist your your school, your organization, your business, your church, or your government entity in doing that. But we're looking at lesson number eight now, steps to effective planning, point number four, prioritize the needs. That's a challenge. And again, I have a whole, a whole lesson on uh, prioritizing and how to establish prioritize, uh, priorities, but how do you determine priorities? How do you, a priority is something that you do first, second, and third. Sometimes it seems like everything is a priority. Have you ever felt that way? We make a task list, we make a to-do list, and it's like, Wow, everything is urgent. I gotta get it all done. I gotta get it all done right now. In fact, it is so urgent, I'm not gonna do any of it. It's too much for me. It's too much pressure on me. Well, that's what often happens. But it's important that we work by priorities. And one way, there's many different ways, and again, you can search the internet, you know, how to establish priorities, how to live by priorities, how to work by priorities. But, but one thing that you can do, is you can see this on your screen now, working by priorities, determining what is important, you can use uh, the ABC method. This is what I've used for many, many years. A is top priority. B is important, but not as important as A. And C is kind of important, but if I do it, I, I don't do it, okay? And I don't do it, it's not that big of a deal. And so if you look at number A, letter A, top, letter A is top priority. It is associated with what my boss wants, or our vision and strategy. How do you determine what is the most important thing to do? If you're an employee, whatever your boss wants you to do, that is the most important thing. But sometimes your boss doesn't work by, by priorities and he gives you a whole pile of things and then you need to ask them and say, boss, you've got me to do these five things. You've asked me to do these five things. You've told me to do these five things. Boss, I don't have enough time to do all of them right now. Can you tell me which are the first two most important for me to do? So if you're an employee and your boss just keeps piling stuff on you, then you go back to your boss and you say, boss, I've got too much right now. Could you help me to prioritize according to your priorities? Which one of these is first and second and third according to your priorities? Then aside from that, if you are the boss, then you establish your priorities or if you're just daily living, you establish your priorities. What is the most important thing that is associated with my long-term vision? What is critical? There's an, another book I read many, many years ago called The Tyranny of the Urgent. There are many things that are urgent. We must do it now. We must do it now. But they're not important. Important things usually are long term, something that affects us in the long term. Urgent is something because we forgot. Sometimes you can find someone else to do that. You can delegate that urgent thing to someone else for them to do. You give them basic instructions, you give them a timeline, and, uh, and you tell them to do it. The top priority, A, is associated with what my boss wants or our vision and strategy. Okay, so you look at your list. Uh, I recommend that you make a task list. I've got an app in my phone and, and almost every day I put in my task list for that day. And then you can put A, B, or C. Which one of these are associated with something long-term, long-term existence of our entity? And then maybe you've got three of them. And so you put A1, A2, and A3. And you'll see that on your chart, A1, a2, A3, you do A1 first, you do A2 second, you do A3 third, okay? And then B is, is a priority that is important, but it's not as important as A. So A 
It's life or death. You could say it this way. A, it's life or death. Can you delegate it or must you do it? Who's the best person to do that? B, it's important. And so I, I have a lot of B priorities. You know they're important and uh, I want to get them done, but I've got to get. I want to get these done. I have to get A's done. And so you put B1, B2, B3, and then C is not urgent and it's not important. I'll do it if I have time. You know what? When I take my, my task list and I list out what I have to do for the day, and I maybe have 10 things I want to get done, you know what? Some of them are things that I'd like to get them done. They're going to be fun to do, but they're not life or death. I'm going to put them a C. And if I get them done, C1, C2, C3, C4, C5, and if I get them done, that's great. If I don't get them done, it's not the end of the world. And you know what my experience is? After a couple days, the C's just kind of disappear. I find out that, you know what, they're not that important anyway. But sometimes they seem to be urgent. And so if they seem to be urgent, you ask, do I need to do it or can I delegate it to someone else that can get it done on my behalf and under my supervision and get the monkey off of my, off of my shoulder? And C, is it something that is essential? something that I like to do. Sometimes we like to do the fun things. And you know what? Sometimes I've got some B things to do, or even C things to do, and I look at them and I think, you know, they're not going to take very long. It'll take me five minutes to do that. It'll take me ten minutes to do that. And so I'm going to knock these out. I'm going to get these B1 and B2 done, C1 and C2 done. I'm going to finish them so I don't have to think about them anymore and I can focus the rest of the day on A1, A2, then A3. But anyway, it's just a concept. It's a strategy where you're establishing priorities according to A priorities, which are essential to the existence of our entity, B, which are really important, and C, which are nice, but they're not urgent, and we can put it off for another week, we can put it off for another month, and you know what, we may not have to do it at all. And so this is just some guidance on, on planning and working by priorities. And so this is lesson number eight, and I, I wanna encourage you uh, to subscribe to this channel. If you haven't done it already, like this video, click the bell button, and share it with someone else if you think it will be beneficial to them. And I wanna encourage you, apply it don't just listen to this this particular series is very practical for you the first few lessons were kind of philosophical but the last few lessons are going to be very practical for you take it and apply it start today make your task list and create the a b and c thank you so very much